Publisher's Preface There are three separate accounts in the New Testament of a man who'd been possessed with devils. He had been living among the tombs, and the people had attempted to bind him with chains and fetters, but he broke them as he would not be bound. People were afraid of him and avoided him. He had no house, wore no clothes, and the devil drove him often into the wilderness. And Jesus had just demonstrated his authority over the wind and the tempest to his disciples, and now had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, and gave leave for the legion of devils to go into the swine, and as a result the man was found at the feet of Jesus, clothed in his right mind. The man wanted to be with Jesus and go with him, but Jesus said no, but rather go to his own city and tell of all that the Lord had done for him. And straightway he went and published throughout the whole city of all that Jesus had done for him. This book is a record of the personal testimony of the author, in which he tells of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for him. It was first published on the 11th of February 2001 under the title Converted on LSD Trip. It is not written to glorify his past life, but written as a testimony to what the Lord has done for him, despite his past sinful and criminal life. In this, he tells of his early life before his sudden conversion from crime to Christ, him learning the doctrines of grace, and him joining the Beaton Stricter Particular Baptist Church in 1976. He tells of his secession from the church over matters of conscience in 1984 these matters being told in detail in his book, The Beaton Crisis, 1984. Even the Apostle Paul told of his past life as a religious man in his own defence when persecuted by the Jews. He was an Hebrew of Hebrews, circumcised the eighth day of the tribe of Benjamin, as touching the law blameless, not in a way of boasting, but to show his past life, even though he was a religious man. He considered it as worthless, as he had been a Pharisee, and from a religious zealous point of view, persecuted the church even unto strange cities. He punished them often in the synagogues, and compelled them to blaspheme, and being exceeding mad against them. When the Apostle Paul was arrested by the Lord on the Damascus road, he fell to the ground, and Jesus instructed him that he would make him a minister and a witness of those things, both of what he had seen, and of those things he would appear to him. The author has written this book for this reason, to inform the reader of all that the Lord Jesus has done for him, and to point out those important truths of the Gospel of Christ.